About three weeks ago, we called to an emergency meeting uh, and uh, with the council and the um, uh, finance persons, and uh, this is when they told us that uh, what they wanted for the market. Uh, we were told that uh, the council was no longer in a position to run Darlington Market and that uh, what they wanted is for us to take over the running of the market. told that we were given three months to uh, come up with a package to take the market over in one form. Otherwise it would go to private uh, companies outside and if nobody was forthcoming the market would get three months notice and the market would be closed. We were called to a meeting um, at four o'clock on um, Wednesday afternoon. Um, and it was announced then. Um, it wasn't supposed to be announced to the public until the Friday morning. Um, we were basically told that the council had run out of funds to do essential repairs on the market and because of that they were going to either come up with a plan for the traders to take it over or sell it off to the private sector. Not at all. I don't think, I think four million was a figure they put out of the sky. Four million. Then they said it's two million, then it's one point something million. It's all talk, you know. Nothing's down in paper. No, I think four million is for um, for the refurb, um, and it's good enough building. It just if the le if the roof didn't leak, um, and they sorted a few issues out. Yeah, the 1978 was the last full refurbishment of the market, which made it into this uh, the way it is now, which obviously. Is 1978 technology isn't what we want to go forward. Four million was for to completely refurbish the building. Well, it doesn't really need complete refurbishment. It only needs minor maintenance work. We have just asked for an update. We've had written to the council for an update because it, uh, they're changing, they keep changing the goalposts. We had to find four million pounds in four months to say they've never said that now. We've asked to clarify the situation. Uh, put it down in paper, just exactly what their intentions are. There's loads of rumours going about, um, but nothing has been said to us that, yes, it's stopping open, no, it's closing. There's so many different stories, um, and to be honest, we don't know what's, what's true and what's not. I think that the community are very passionate about the market. I think it's important for the community. Uh, we're a little bit different way of trading to what other places are like you know supermarkets are good don't get me wrong but it's important you keep this way of trading especially for uh, the older generation of the town they can pop in here they can talk to people they can buy one or two bits and pieces uh, but not only that it's 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 an attraction to the town it's part of the town it's the focal point of the town it's a jewel in the crown and you know to lose it would just be not not a, you know good for Darlington at all. Well, it'll be devastating for the community. You don't get Darlington without Darlington Market, do you? It's a, an icon. Every picture you see of Darlington's got the market, town clock, and such as that on. So, to be honest, like uh, it's just a non-entity for me. Like to close, it just can't be done or shouldn't be done. There's a lot of people coming here, and the public support that we've had since this was announced is absolutely phenomenal um, people are coming in wanting to sign petitions um, asking all the time what's happening um, so it, it's just there's a good community spirit there. I would feel very sad um, I've been working here since I was 11 years old because my nana and granddad owned it before my mum and dad so I've basically grown up in the building I've grown up around all the people so I would be very sad.